I want to demonstrate how to put in a drain to tie it in so that it's easily accessible for the doctor to take it out in the office. So wherever you have your drain coming out, whether it's coming through the incision or whether it's coming out through a stab wound, um, if it's coming out through the incision, I try to go off the incision when I do this. Take a throw with your needle. An easy way to undo a needle if you want to, if you don't have the scissors there and the scrub tech's busy, you can just put your needle right, needle holder right next to the needle and bend and it comes right off. Now I want to make a loop, but especially if you have something like nylon, it tends to slip easily so it would be hard to make a loop and to keep it there. So I take my forceps and I put the forceps in the way. It's a little bit harder to do it on this than if you would do it on a person because you have a little more surface space for a person. So I take the loop and put it around the forceps and start tying it. And sometimes the forcep falls out and that's okay. Once the loop's secured, you don't have to worry about it. So I've got the loop now. I can take this out and then I'm going to go around the drain. And this is a little bit longer than I want, so I'm going to cut off a little bit. I go around the drain. You want to tie it tight enough that it's snug so that drain won't slip, but not so tight that it occludes it. So you want to make sure you get it firmly around there. And just to make sure I don't get slippage, I will usually go around twice and tie the drain. Once you have that secured, then patient goes home or what does whatever they do. And then when they go into the office to get it removed, the doctor has a nice little loop right here that he can just slip through and cut it out and can remove it easily. And I noticed that the surgeon I worked with, once I started doing this, he started doing it with his drains too.